Okay, now we're on signing naturally unit one, subchapter five. So introducing yourself, introducing yourself, or oneself. So here's our goal, is to have a basic conversation. Uh, one person says hello and gives their name, my name, and then figures by your name, and then asks the next person, your name what? Other person gives them their name, and they both say, express pleasure in meeting. Oh, what a joy it is to meet you, right? Nice to meet you. So, that's the goal. So, let's go through what this vocab was I just did. Okay, so we know name, name, right? So, we're going to learn nice to meet you and again, please, slowly. If you remember in the last one, we talked about again, and I taught that vocab. So we're now going to put that into here and review it. So nice to meet you. We already know you, right? So look at the person, point at them. So nice is you rub your hand, two flat fives, two flat hands, and just slide one palm across the other. And the hand that moves is your writing hand, generally speaking. Maybe opposite for some people, but um, one will feel more comfortable. Um, start using that one. Uh, if you switch back and forth, it's almost like trying to read English where it moves across the page in alternating directions. It gets, it can get confusing. Um, so nice, nice. And you just do it once. Nice. It's not, this actually means to clean, to make something nice. So nice. And then meet. In the last unit, we, uh, in the lecture, I talked about this being two people meeting, coming together. So that's what meet is. Uh, if you see it like this, it's the generic sign. It's not incorporating any specifics. If I do it this way, boom, it means me and you meet. I could meet this person over here. Um, I could, you could meet that person. Huh? So we can be more specific or you can be generic. This is the more boring version. Okay. Um, so here's meet. Boom. Or bump. Now, you can, and that basically says what I just said. Um, you don't always need you because it's incorporated in this sign. Like we don't say, very nice for me to meet you, right? That That's a very awkward thing. We would never say it. Because I said, nice to meet you, it's assumed I'm the subject. So when we sign this for meet, what it means is me meet you, right? So nice to meet you is all we need to say. You can still say nice to meet you, especially when I said nice to meet you all, right? All right. So here's two examples. And um, I'm sure in the video, the, the GIFs aren't playing as well, but hopefully they'll play when you go through the PowerPoint. Um, you know, uh, separately, is nice to meet you. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Again, we learned again was this. And please, I put again. Please is you take your flat hand and just circle it on your chest. Um, it can be high on the chest. It really depends on if there's anything in the way. So. Um, do whatever's comfortable. Um, you don't even have to make contact. I know uh, if I'm wearing a tie when I'm interpreting, there's a very, I make very little contact here because I end up sending the tie flying. So please. Um, video looks choppy. Okay. Sorry is also with an S. Sorry. And last but not least, slow. You take your dominant hand, the writing hand, and put it on top of the passive hand, and then you slowly bring it up. It's almost like you're petting yourself, right? So slow. And if you do it fast, it loses a bit of its meaning. So you want to do it slow. So again, please, slow.
Okay. And I designed thank you at the end, like I blew a kiss. All right. So I'll cut um, a GIF from this, but you can see it in the video. So I want you to practice this just on your own. Okay. There's a bunch of different pieces in there to play with, but if you can have that conversation with yourself, it'll be so much easier to have it with someone else. And how many times do you say, nice to meet you in the course of a week? Every time you meet someone new under quarantine, maybe not as often. Bum, bum, bum. And also practice again, please, slowly, because you may need it if you're finger spelling with someone. So three more useful signs that we're going to start adding uh, as sort of a random thing is homework. Uh, remember and forget. So homework. In the book, you'll see it both this way. So it's almost four four beats. One, two, three, four. It's a combination of home, where you eat and where you sleep, home, and work. Pounding, whatever, you know, working at the uh, hammer and anvil, the blacksmith, the blacksmithy. Um, so homework. You'll also see it, this, homework. Um, it is, it's a condensation. It's almost a contraction. It just speeds up the, the whole process of those four beats. So, but for right now, just practice homework, homework. Okay. And on the next side, I explain that. Home and work. Remember is very similar to letter, if you remember letter, except it comes from the forehead. It's whatever this thought is, you're going to lock it in place, right? stick it down like a stamp. Remember. Oh, I remember you. You made me cry. Remember. Oh, remember letter. Remember letter. Remember that letter? Yeah. Okay. Forget is you're erasing something from the blackboard of your mind. So you take the flat hand, you bring it across the forehead, off to the side, and bring your fingers in to like an A. Oh, forgot me. Okay, so forgot, forget. So simple vocab. Hello. Sometimes you'll see like a salute. Finger spell. I taught this one in the introduction. You're just waving your fingers and bringing it across. Letter, 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 all the different letters. Finger spell. And then one Z is one five. And then afterwards I put, this is all the videos with conversations and stuff from the text. Um, great, so that's 1.5. Um, a lot of these chapters have very small subunits and they oftentimes are cyclical. So we will return to same and different. We will return to uh, expanding this conversation in future ones, but they give you sort of bite-sized chunks to to sort of master before moving on to the next. So that's 1.5.